Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video guide on the Sargent EC500 power supply unit. Now, this is very similar to the EC400. The major difference is going to be this top left corner here, but we'll go through it anyway. So this unit is essentially your all-in-one electrical management area, if you will. Uh, it contains uh, the management stuff for your 12 volt and 240 volt electrical circuits, as well as your mains powered battery charger. This particular model also features these buttons here, which are backups for the main functions you would typically find on your control panel so if your control panel was to become faulty uh, then you do have uh, the ability to use the main motorhome functions here so in this bottom left corner we have your dc fuses we then have your mains rcd and mcb trip switches as well these are all labeled here as you can see and the fuses are numbered uh, inside it's a bit hard to see but you can see the numbers there on the backing plate for the fuses there and there's usually a reference sticker like this uh, that you will find somewhere in the vehicle in this vicinity that should give you the, uh, you know, tell you what fuse is doing what, judging by those labels or according to those labels. Um, up here, we have the sort of management side of things for electrical or mains electrical supply. So we have isolators for the charger, the space heater and the water heater. Now, these, uh, like I say, are electrical isolators. They're on off switches. When I uh, push them in, they will turn on and illuminate, as you can see, and they uh, turn on or off the electrical supply, mains electrical supply, that is, to those respective systems. The charger is typically the green one, and with this pushed in and illuminated, it shows at a glance that your charger has power and should be working. This is a reverse polarity warning light, so that will illuminate if there's a polarity issue with your supply. That basically being, uh, means the positive and negative has been crossed over somewhere. That could be the result of a faulty lead or uh, a bit of bad wiring in the point you're plugging into or something along those lines but if you see that you have to start diagnosing what could be causing it and then over here the main functions that you have access to here are powering on or off the 12 volt circuit turning on and off your water pump turning on and off the main lighting circuit and switching the charge or switching the bat active battery to the uh, vehicle battery now, of course, just like the control panel, this would be something you only do when your charger is on and working so that you can switch the charge to the vehicle battery. Don't do this without mains electric supply because otherwise you will not charge the battery. You just drain it and you shouldn't drain your vehicle battery to power the motorhome. And lastly, there is a system shutdown button here that you will use under the advice of a technician. And like I say, this typically will run in conjunction with a sergeant control panel. So also make sure you watch the related video guide for your control panel too. And that wraps up the video guide for the Sergeant EC500 power supply unit. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to speak to your handover professional or your salesperson, or you can contact us via email at customer support at m-d-g.co.uk or by phone on 01202 673735, choosing option three for aftercare. I'm Sev. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.